So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a follow-up on the stubby versus folding grip with a vertical versus angled grip video. I was hesitant at first, but seeing the amount of people that wanted this was actually quite insane. So I'm going to try my best here to break these grips down. Before this video starts, I would like to promote my Discord for once. Uh, we've been growing on YouTube a lot lately, and I would love to see some of you guys in the Discord. I'm usually pretty active on the Discord, so if you want to talk to me about certain guns, attachments, or just want to vibe with me, you guys should definitely join. Before I start explaining these attachments, I'm just going to say this, you should only be using these grips if you are just starting out with the gun. These are not grips you want to use if you have folding or stubby unlocked. That's why I was really hesitant about making the video because some of this information really isn't that useful, but if you really think about it, if you're looking for an early loadout, then you're going to want to listen to this video because this will help you so you don't have to spend credits buying attachments, you know, like I do, which you really shouldn't, but let's just jump right into it. So let's talk about the vertical grip. After talking to Mar about it, this is what I concluded from our conversation. The grip itself really has no use on LMGs or assault rifles whatsoever. In fact, anything with decent range, this thing should not be used. The reason behind it is, it's just meant for hip fire. It reduces a significant amount of hip fire recoil, but actually increases the recoil when you're aiming down sights. So you should almost never use this thing. I say almost because PDWs are actually pretty decent with this gun if your style is running and gunning. I asked Mar, what are the best possible guns to use with this exact grip? He said this, generally any gun that you will find close quarters will be useful with it. Then I asked what gun he recommended for using with this grip, and he said the Colt SMG is probably one of the best guns you can use for it. I think that's a pretty good statement, I agree with it 100%. The Colt SMG's true power doesn't come with ADS, it's hip fire. Would I use it over a stubby or folding? Probably not, because I don't really hip fire that often. I'm more of a person who just aim down sights, but if you like hip firing, if you like running and gunning, use the vertical grip. So over all, if you're gonna use this, use this on a PDW. PDWs are the best class of weapons to use this for. Because PDWs are meant for only close range, and maybe some range, but 99% of the time you're gonna be using a PDW because it's ability at close quarters combat. Now another question that I did have with this grip was its ability on shotguns. This seems like common sense to some people, but I guess not to me apparently, but the grip is only useful on guns that are either semi-automatic or automatic. Pump shotguns will not be affected by this grip. The only shotguns you should probably ever use this grip on is the AA-12, the Sega, or the DVV, because those are semi-automatic or potentially automatic shotguns. So the best way to use this grip with shotguns is with semi-automatic shotguns or fully automatic shotguns. Now let's get to angled grip. As you can assume, the angled grip is basically the direct opposite of the vertical grip. Instead of hip fire, it's ADS. Using an angle grip would cause the hit fire spread to be widened, therefore making it really hard to hit fire with this attachment. The strength of the angled grip is its ability to control camera kick, so you'll be seeing a lot less recoil when you're aiming in with guns, which is very beneficial to any gun actually. So the best type of weapons to use this gun on are, well, fully automatic guns or semi-automatic, doesn't really matter that much, but the best class to use on are LMGs, assault rifles, anything automatic basically. But all you need to know is, if you aim down your gun, use the angle grip. If you do not aim down your gun, you hit fire, use the vertical grip. Pretty simple. They both do two different things. They're both not that good. But if we have a winner here, it's angled grip. This might be a personal bias of mine, but I really never find myself ever hip firing in this game. One, because I just don't like how the hip firing system works. Whenever I hit fire, I'm used to playing Call of Duty like way back in the day, so shotguns were like easy to hit fire with, and now it's a little bit different because everything comes out of the barrel. And in previous games, that's not really how it worked. It's kind of like wherever you were looking, well, there it is. But I do prefer the recoil system in this game over COD because it's just it's just better in general, in my opinion. But that being said, I don't hit fire, so I guess winner is Angle Grip. Congratulations, Angle Grip, for uh, winning! Yeah. So I guess really to sum up the video, you should really only use angle grip. If your gun requires you the ADS, do not equip the vertical grip. You're better off just waiting for the attachment unlock. Let me know in the comments, because I actually have seen this comment a few times, if you guys would like to see a whole video on the pistol grip. Some people are wanting it, and I might do it, so who knows. But yeah, that's really it for today, guys. Make sure you guys, you know, hit that subscribe button if you like the video. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. And yeah, that's really it, so uh, peace out.